Hello and welcome everyone, Lionheart here, and today I am reviewing the Rocat or Rocat um, Ryos MK. Now, before we get started with the review, I will just say um, two things about it because we're going to have a look at the keyboard in a moment while I talk about some of the features, things I like about it, things I don't like about it, and then we'll wrap up uh, by showing it software and give it a score. But yeah, things I want to quickly point out that this is a United States keyboard layout, even though the image on the box actually shows the British layout with the big. Uh, old reversed R enter sign. You'll see in a moment the actual layout that I was sent is uh, US. It's also using the black uh, linear, uh, or there are the black Cherry uh, MX key switches, which gives a linear medium um, response apparently. So, yeah, uh, without further ado, let's have a look at that keyboard. So, here is the Rocat Rios MK. Now this is kind of the baby of the Ryos group of keyboards from Rocat. They provide um, a Glow version and a Pro version. Now obviously I'm pretty sure you guys can guess what the Glow version does. The Glow version is a backlit um, version of the MK, while the Pro features backlit, um, more processing power within the keyboard to store more macros, uh, as well as audio um, ports and USB ports on the back of the actual keyboard, which this one does not feature. Now, I'll talk about how that impacts um, this keyboard a little bit later um, with the pricing. This retails at around about £90, which is pretty much the same price point as the Gamdias Hermes, um, which it was another mechanical keyboard which I reviewed a while back. Link to that review is in the description so you guys can compare. Now, some of the tech specs this has is an, apparently an advanced mechanical keyboard, N key rollover, uh, features obviously Cherry MX key switches. This is using the black switches. Now the reason why it states which switches it's using with a sticker on the box is because as far as I uh, understand this, when you actually buy one of these from certain retailers, you can actually select which um, switches you want to come with, be it Cherry Red, Cherry Blue, Cherry Brown, Cherry Black, uh, and obviously all of them have their own um, you know, pros and cons. I'll let you guys um, you know, do your own research on that and decide which one of those you'd like to have a look at. But this has come with the with the black. Personally, I'm not a huge mechanical keyboard uh, kind of guy. Um, well, when I say that, I just don't have that much experience with them. I've always used rubber dome-based keyboards, and in fact, my day-to-day -day keyboard is, in fact, uh, a SteelSeries Apex, which is not a mechanical keyboard. But the reason why I use that is because it doesn't make so much noise when I'm making my recordings. However, um, I actually have had this keyboard longer than I would most um, keyboards to review, uh, just because I haven't had that much time to get around to it. So while I, I was kind of um, using this and getting ready to review it, I also gave it to my brother for a couple of weeks, and he gave me his thoughts on this keyboard, um, which I'll get to in a moment. Anyway, you have um, five uh, macro keys on the left-hand side, and you have three thumbster keys, which are actually backlit. Um, down at the bottom underneath the spacebar, which again we've seen this on the Gamdias Hermes before, uh, which is pretty good. And I'll talk about them more in a moment. Has a thousand hertz polling rate, um, a 1.8 meter cable, and a 32 bit ARM Cortex processor to store over 500 uh, different macros. And we'll have a look at the software uh, later on as well. And that software has the ability to hold five different profiles. So Big key features of the keyboard are its easy shift key, which you can remap keys on the fly. And again, I'll, I'll show you more of the software later on. Um, thumbster keys along the bottom, which act as e uh, extra macros. Seen this on the Gamdias Hermes. Now, something both me and my brother picked up while we were reviewing this, and while we were using this and getting, and getting ready for this review, and while my brother gave me some feedback, is that these keys, um, you know, you don't actually have to put a lot of force onto the keyboard to use the, say, the space bar with your thumb. It actually does it quite easily. Using that same amount of force on one of these keys, it actually won't click. I'm using the same amount of force here and you don't get the click. You actually have to press pretty hard with it to get that click. Now, the way I used the macros on the Hermes, which was, were positioned in pretty much the same location, were as extra macros for, say, abilities or new items in my inventory, because it's a really, that is a perfect spot for your thumb, because half the time, you know, you may not need space, so you can, but it's a, an easy stretch to reach those buttons with your thumb. However, these are a little bit too hard to push down, and the advantage the Hermes has over this is that the keys are actually slightly raised on the Gamdias Hermes, so it's a lot easier to slide straight from the space bar to the keys 
on the Hermes. But I like that they've included this. You have the standard macro keys on the side. Apart from that, there are no extra macro keys. Now, I think partially this is because the design Rogue had have gone with this. It's a very clean keyboard. I'll quickly lift it up and show you. There's no kind of extra bits on the sides or anything like that, and there's no USB ports or extra inputs on the back. On the bottom, you do have these ridges, which you can uh, feed the cable through should you want to. In fact, I'll show you feeding the cable through on this left-hand side to get the cable out of the way before we place it down. Once you feed it into that groove, it's now sat in there quite nicely, and we can place the keyboard back down again. It has a pretty reasonable palm rest. In fact, I'm quite happy with the palm rest because normally I use one of these, which is you know just a soft bit of sp um, sponge in a in a palm rest there for my keyboard because otherwise, with the sharp edges of my desk, it's quite painful after a long gaming session. So I like that it's got this palm rest here, it's nice and comfortable, it's the right length. The Gamdias Hermes is too long. Um, okay, that does double up as a kind of keyboard cover tray, but that one is generally too long, and yes, it does detach, but in this case, I don't see no reason why you'd need to detach this. It's the perfect length for a palm rest, fits very nicely, uh, very solid, and also um, is coated specially so it doesn't um, sharp smudges and things like that, which is good. So, before we look at the software, I want to talk about things that me and my brother didn't necessarily enjoy about this keyboard so much. And obviously I've talked about the thumb keys being a bit awkward to to get to. Um, the macro keys on the side work really nice. But the, the biggest issue that me and my brother had kind of looking at this keyboard um, was that for the price, this is about a £90 price mark, for the price, there isn't actually. This is quite a basic keyboard in terms of mechanical terms. It's not backlit, it doesn't have any extra USB ports, um, any audio out ports, which for some people isn't going to be an issue. If you just want a solid, um, you know, basic mechanical keyboard, this Ryos from Rocat, the MK, is perfect. Um, but. Considering its price, I honestly feel that it should have been had a bit more to it because the say the Gandius Hermes is backlit and um, has these extra USB ports along the top, and you know that has its own mapping software, probably not as extensive as the Rocats, but I feel the actual features you get physically on the keyboard are substantially more with the Hermes, and also for some people it will be important to be able to remove this palm rest, um, which again the Hermes does do. So the really the only negatives we have is that the kind of the the reduced features on this version for the price, and that is going to reflect in the score because this is a ninety pound keyboard. If this had been around about the seventy pound mark, seventy seventy five, that would have been fine because I think you know that they've shown that obviously they've cut out some of the features to make it more affordable, make it cheaper. But personally, I think the price point is still a bit too high. So maybe look for one of these when they're on sale. But really, apart from that, and apart from the thumb keys not being raised up enough, I don't really have too many bad things to say about this keyboard. At the end of the day, quite honestly, I believe that you can't really do too many things wrong with a gaming keyboard, um, because essentially as long as the keys work, as long as they're responsive, um, you know, as long as you have some, maybe some extras there, volume control, all pretty standard along the F keys there, what, what else um, do you need it to do? So obviously it's not backlit, but they do offer a backlit glow variant. And if you want those extra USB ports, they offer a, um, you know, they offer the pro version. But they are at increasingly more expensive costs. We're going to have a look a brief a brief look at the software, and then I'm going to wrap up this review and give it a score. So this is the Rios, or rather the Rocat software for the Rios MK keyboard. So you have lots of different displays, and I've got to admit. In terms of how software looks and how software goes, this is quite attractive software. It does have a lot going on. There's a lot of settings, and I know some people might find it a bit cluttered and a bit confusing at first look, but it is um, essentially quite pretty looking software, which often you kind of get, um, you know, manufacturers looking quite extensively at what they're making in terms of the hardware, but the software is what lets it down. In this case, the Rocat generally. Um, well, the Rocat software generally provides a reasonable amount of support for the keyboard. You have um, configurable caps lock key, so you can. Um, the caps lock will work as the easy shift on the Rios, 
which is useful to know because there actually isn't a cabs lock uh, button uh, on the keyboard, or key rather, um, but that works with the easy shift button. You have a configure key as well, you can set, you can set up everything here. Disable keys, you also have um, sound feedback which you can set um, for when you're changing keys and switching macros. Which, which is just a nice extra touch. Um, to be honest, it would be nice to have some visual indication on the keyboard. There are some um, some lights up on the keyboard, but that um, it doesn't necessarily show you all the different profiles you're using and things like that. So uh, a light response as well as a sound response would have been um, good as well. Now, I will quickly show you the Rocat Rad, which is all these achievements, things like that. It tells you how many keystrokes and stuff. This is reset because I reinstalled the drivers the other day. Otherwise, it would be up to thousands and what have you. Um... I think it's kind of a little bit more gimmicky than anything else. I'm not necessarily going to really need to know how many times I press the W key and what have you. And it has these trophies and achievement, which, again, if you're interested in that kind of thing, is nice, but I wouldn't necessarily say it's a must-have. Uh, update and support. You can download the latest driver. Online support, pretty standard. This is the, um, the I think, the most useful part of the software, the, the key assignment um, panel. Because you can basically click all the various areas and you can remap individual keys. Now, normally with most key mapping software, it probably won't let you change the primary function. Well, um, this actually does. It allows me, if I want to, to change E, and I can remap it, and I can press another key on the keyboard, so I can press Z and hit OK. So E is now Z, and its secondary function is E. But um, we're going to remap that back, um, back to E, because why would I want Z up on the E key? That'd be mental. But I do like the fact that you can remap pretty much any of these keys over here. Um, which is very useful. Plus, you can give it a secondary key function, which you can access via using the easy shift key over there. And you can set it loads of timers, standards, on shortcut, disable, macro, preset function. You've got all these various macro presets from various games here. And actually, some of them quite up to date as well. And I assume with every update of the software, more will come out too. I like that they've got a Battle for Middle Earth one. That's brilliant. Love that game. Um, nothing for Total War though, but um, you don't really need macros for that, that's fine. You can create your own profile and your own macros if you want to anyway, so that gets around that. That's all I need to show you really of the software. You have five different profiles you can um, set along here. Um, it works very well, so let's have a look at the keyboard one final time and give it a score. So that was a look at the software of the Rocat Rios keyboard. Now it's time to give it a score, and this is something that hasn't been the easiest decision for me to actually make. Um, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. Now some of you are going to think, okay, well, it seemed like a pretty good keyboard in the review and you know other things I've looked at, it doesn't seem to have that much um, problem with it. It is a very good keyboard. I'm not going to, you know, there's nothing I can really find that wrong with it. Um, personal taste is always going to be a bit of a factor here, and personally, I think it's, it's quite nice. It's quite a sleek, elegant um, keyboard design. It's not as chunky as other mechanical keyboards, especially not the Gamdias Hermes. So I think it works rather well. The reason why I'm marking it down to 8 out of 10 is because of its price and the lack of features that this keyboard has at this price. If perhaps the, um, the Pro was um, about £100, so about £10 more than this retails at, then I probably wouldn't have been... I probably would have only given this. I probably would have given this a nine out of ten because the Pro is only ten pounds more. But because this is ninety pounds, and I think the Pro retails in at around about one hundred and forty pounds at the moment, which is quite a considerable upgrade. And the fact that the Pro has backlighting, it has the extra USB ports up there, it has the audio ports as well. Something which um, technically at the same price point, the Gambius Hermes all includes. Um, and obviously, the Gambius Hermes does include um, a similar kind of MK. Um, Royals model in its lineup for the Hermes, it's called the Essential, which doesn't have um, the backlit. I don't think it, it's not backlit, it doesn't have necessarily all the ports at the top, but that is still a bit cheaper um, than this. So that's why I'm marking it, giving it an 8 out of 10, because I just don't think it's at the best value for money right now. I think there are potentially other keyboards out there which offer, you know, backlighting, extra USB key functions, and things like that, and then USB ports and what have you. However, that said, if you like the Rocat brand, if you like this compared to the Gamdias and the fact that you don't have to detach, it doesn't have a detachable uh, palm rest, this is a better sized palm rest than uh, the Gamdias Hermes, and that it isn't necessarily overloaded with as many macro keys, then this is definitely a great keyboard. It's very solid as well, I can't flex it at all. Very solid build design, this will last you plenty. 
and also it's a lot lighter to take to say LAN events or around your friend's house if you're taking your PC around there for a couple of days or whatever um, it's nowhere near as heavy um, I do like the idea that you can obviously order one of these with different um, Cherry MX switches although on Amazon the only one I found available is the black um, which is this version but I assume that you can um, if you shop around you'll be able to find the right place to um, you know order the Rios with whatever cherry keys you want which is pretty cool I like that but yeah just kind of for the lack of features at this price point that's the reason I've given it an 8 out of 10 and then the only real kind of issue I have necessarily with this keyboard and its design is that I wish the thumb keys were slightly um, raised out I might be beginning to be a bit harsh with this score I know but I wish the keys were slightly higher out so it's easier to hit them because they're a great idea I really do think thumb keys are a really good idea. It's just a shame that these take a bit of effort to push and they're not as easy as I think they were intended to be. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed my review of the Rocat Rias. Uh, thank you very much to Rocat who sent this to me. Um, I do have, as I mentioned, I think earlier, the uh, Rocat Pure Optical to review as well, so check that out. If I didn't mention it, then yep, got the uh, Rocat um, Pure Optical to have a look at as well later on, so check out that review. It's a really nice, sleek mouse. But yeah, me mechanical keyboard, check it out, the Rocat Rias MK. As always, hope you enjoyed. Please remember to comment, rate, subscribe, follow me on Facebook and Twitter for the latest updates to my channel, gaming news, reviews, and vlogs. I'll see you all again soon. Ciao for now.